Hi there, SQ users. Welcome to another SQ tutorial. My name's Jan, and it's another MIDI one today, folks. I just picked up this awesome little MIDI pad called the Dicer, and I'd like to show you how I've set it up to use with my SQ. So welcome to my control room. Here's one of our SQ6s, and here is the Novation Dicer. I just got it this week. I must confess a slight habit of mine is buying MIDI controllers that perhaps I don't need, as can be seen looking around my desk. Some of these have jobs, some of them just sit hoping to have jobs one day. Anyway, here is the Novation Dicer. As you can see, it's designed actually to be used by a DJ as it's shaped to sit on the corner of a CDJ. It also wasn't that simple to MIDI map as it doesn't come with any instructions. It's just meant to work with the matching DJ software. I actually had to call Focusrite, who make this, and get the programmer's notes for the LED light feedback, which they kindly supplied. So thanks for that. So here it is. You actually get two in a pack, which I didn't realize. It's quite cool. It was around £60 for the pair. It comes with one USB cable, which connects one of the dicers to the computer. And the second one, if you want to link them together, chains off the first with this stereo jack cable, oddly. A bit strange in my opinion. I think two USB cables would have been better, especially as there's a warning on the box actually that says, uh, do not unplug or plug in the second unit while the first has power. I think it can cause damage as the contacts of the jack slide across each other. Anyway, I won't be linking them. I'm just gonna use one at a time. So I'll just get my bones up and running on a laptop and show you how I've set this up. So first things first is to make sure you have the SQ set up to receive MIDI commands by downloading the driver and connecting it all up. So this is the way the Dicer works. It gives three layers of five buttons. Each layer actually has a shift layer too. So in total, we have 30 mappable buttons on here. I have set up a red, green, and orange layer. I haven't mapped the shift layers yet. So the red layer I've set up to be my first five mute groups. You can see those triggering here, still currently have them on the soft keys. I'll just switch them off. The green layer I've set up to be my soft rotary layers. I'll leave a link to the video of how I set those up at the end. So just for example, my first layer is my aux send levels and assigns for any selected channel. My second layer is effect sends and some effects parameter controls. My third layer is my four main vocal microphones with PAFL on the buttons. My fourth layer is aux master levels with PAFL on the buttons so I can hear what the stage hears. And finally, my fifth layer is the master section with mains and a PAFL and subs, delays, and front fill with mute buttons. Lastly, my orange layer is my talkback system. I've also done a video on how to do this with MIDI. Here I have my talkback mic going into a channel. Its levels are up in all the destinations, but the assigns are off and triggered by MIDI. So button one talks to aux one, button two to aux two. I don't need to talk to aux three, button three to aux four, button four to aux five. Lastly, button five allows me to talk through the mains when front of house needs to make an announcement. So that's it, the Novation Dicer saving me 15 soft keys on the SQ, but potentially with 30 functions. I think this would be great for anyone running a laptop alongside their SQ with Bohm's MIDI translator. There's a few SQ MIDI tricks I've used in this demonstration that I go into more detail about in other videos, so please check them out. Please subscribe to my channel. Stay safe, and as always, take it easy.